Hi, I'm Jim Cunningham, and I'm here with Daryl Halterman from Emerson. And we're talking about strategies for migrating to new systems. Daryl, why are new migration solutions so important? Well, obviously, migration to a newer, more powerful system can be extremely beneficial. You get a lot more capabilities and functionality from a modern system than a legacy system. I like to use the analogy of a 1999 pickup truck versus a 2019 pickup truck. Uh, both will haul your equipment, but you know, with a 2019 truck, you'll get 30 to 50 percent more horsepower, 30 to 50 percent better fuel economy. Uh, more load capacity and more safety features and just a, a whole lot better experience uh, compared to a 20-year-old piece of equipment. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> you want to do a migration quickly, safely, while saving costs. Exactly, because the first question customers have is, how much is this going to cost me in terms of downtime, lost productivity, and lost opportunities? So we're here highlighting Emerson's advanced migration capabilities. The old way would be just to tear out and rip and replace, throw away the old control system, uh, the software, rewire everything, and uh, hopefully you've got everything set up. You could be down for days or weeks. With the new way, we can now automatically convert your application code for you. Uh, with our PAC Systems RX 3i line, we can reuse 95% of the I.O. modules uh, right in the same system, so that using the same field wiring, reducing cost, risk, and downtime. Can you show us some examples? We have some examples in the field where you know, we've migrated an offshore oil rig while maintaining its operation so that they didn't have to bring it into shore, uh, where it would have been out of uh, production for months. We've had wastewater treatment authorities that had concerns about overflowing wastewater lagoons. And in that case, they were able to very quickly and easily convert the system uh, over in a matter of hours, uh, avoiding any opportunity to overflow their waste systems. And we even have certain manufacturing customers that are you know, able to migrate an application even over a lunch break, uh, rather than uh, you know, taking an entire uh, outage schedule for that. With the new system now, what, we, what we've got is, especially for the Emerson Machine Automation Solutions uh, PLCs, we've got one of the best stories in the market. So this is our best of 1987 technology series 9030 controllers. And here is our new modern PAC Systems RX3i. Uh, with this product, 95% of the I.O. modules will unplug from the old system, plug right into the new backplane. Uh, we have automatic tools that allow you to convert the software with the touch of a button, and you can download and store uh, and be up and running in a few minutes. So these were all Emerson to Emerson migrations. Uh, what about competitive systems? So we traditionally have focused on migrating our own legacy systems to newer, but we are working now on migration solutions for competitive technology as well. We have a sample down here of one of our competitor legacy control solutions. And in this case, we're reusing their wiring terminal blocks uh, using a specialized card to bring that into one of our RSTI EP IO drops. And that allows you to leave the field wiring in place. And then additionally, we're working on uh, some tools that allow us to do a migration of their software package into our software package in a similar fashion that we would use with our automated software services. So again, you know, the most expensive things that you'll see as a part of a migration are you know, migrating the application code and checking out the field wiring. And these solutions eliminate both of those steps. So the bottom line is the faster customers can do a changeover with the least effort and cost, the faster they can take advantage of new systems? Yes, uh, and without risking production outages, uh, the other benefit that they have is they're able to schedule these switchovers during regular working hours, which, which means no overtime or weekends for their maintenance crews, and it frees up the larger work outages for higher priority work. Great, thanks a ton, Daryl. Where can people get more information? Well, Jim, they can go to the emerson.com website and look for the new PLC entries. Thank you.